Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. A question we've been getting a lot over the last couple of months is how we add trim marks or crop marks to our documents. I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to show you how to do it in Illustrator, but I'm also going to do a tutorial in Photoshop and also in Microsoft Word. The first thing we're going to do is set up the new document and I'm going to start with an invitation in the standard size of 5x7. I'm not going to include a bleed because I don't have any graphics that need the bleed um, and I'm just going to click OK. So here is our blank canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the invitation. So now that I've completed my invitation, I want to save it and add the trim marks. So I'm going to come up to File, Save As. And I'm going to choose a folder to put it in. And this one's going to be called Crop Marks. I'm going to call the document Ashley. And I'm going to come down to Format and click on Adobe PDF and then Save. In Adobe PDF preset, I want this to be a high quality print. And I'm going to uncheck Fast Web View. Next, I'm going to come down to Marks and Bleeds, and here is where we're going to add the trim marks. Under Marks, I'm going to check Trim Marks, and then click Save PDF. Now, here's my PDF, and as you can see in the corners, my crop marks are there. If I went ahead and printed this out and then trimmed it um, following the crop marks, this will give me my size, which is 5 by 7 Now this is great if you're printing one up, but I want to print two up. And what two up basically means is two 5 by 7 invitations on one sheet of paper. So back in Illustrator, I'm going to choose A4 and change the orientation to landscape. I'm going to click on OK. So from here, I'm going to import my invitation that I just created and made a PDF of. So I'm going to go to File and Place. I'm going to find the PDF that I just created and click Place. Now that is one of the invitations. And what I'm going to do is just select that invitation and Command C or Control C on a PC and Command V or Control V on a PC and move it across. From here I'm just going to play around and try and get both of these invitations on to the sheet. And there we go. How easy was that? All you need to do now is save this document and just follow the crop marks when cutting it. And both those invitations, once cut out using the crop marks, will give you a 5 by 7 invitation. If you wanted to do this in Photoshop or Microsoft Word, please see the description box below and I'll leave links to those videos separately. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.